here. We're going to mark it up. Getting close to the end of the day. Hopefully we got time for it to uh, move and do its thing and make us some money. All right. Now let's, I'm going to put my stop in here. So I'll get that off. Uh, 688. 687. Stop. 6.87. And uh, I'm long, so I'm going to go ahead and sell. Uh, invalid order type. Uh, oh, market. 687. And sell. All right, double check my order up here. So we're in 700 shares. Cool, stop at 687. All right, all good. So now I'm going to finish marking this chart up so I can put my uh, other targets in and Get a good eyeball of what's going on here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, change. I'm going to watch this stock. So 743, I'm going to put as my high. So I'm going to change this to a range. 43, all right, cool, 687, 743, and then I'm going to go ahead and change this order and sell. All right, there we go. So um, if you're wondering why I don't use GTC on these, I go until basically the trade happens, and whether it's tomorrow or the next day or whenever. Um, I don't because they're going to sell my position anyway at the end of the day because I'm fully leveraged on this trade. So at 350, they're going to sell my position out if I don't close it out myself. So it doesn't really matter. So there's that. All right, cool. So we'll come back here in a little bit, and we'll see if this is a winner or a loser. All right, we're going to take our low range, and we're going to get ready to uh, put our stop in here. 724. That's our target, 724. So as soon as we get above 724, checking the spread here, it's really tight. That's nice. Then we'll go ahead and uh, change our stop or uh, our range order out so that our Low will be our first target, and our high is going to end up being our second target, 761. Give this thing a chance to run. So now we're ready to go. So as soon as uh, we get across this, we'll come back and uh, place that order. Or if we get stopped out of order, we'll come back then too. All right, we'll see where it goes. Okay, so we're still watching uh, this stock. So um, I'm trading this on my simple switch strategy, which is an algorithm-based strategy that when um, when the algorithm senses a potential for a uh, a long position in this case um, this uh, switches and then it gives me permission and then I have to check the, the volume agrees with the the plan so all that stuff lined up so I jumped into this trade uh, based on what the algorithm is telling me but from just a technical standpoint you can kinda see almost a little head and shoulders here but so we have this, this stock that it, it comes up and I'm gonna draw a line here to better explain it uh, yeah. I don't know why I chose the trend line. It's just the, the, the dollar line. But it comes up here, doesn't quite get through this area, comes back through, breaks through this area, comes back down. This area becomes support, um, goes back through, breaks through that area again. But then look at this resistance that's developed here. Boom, 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 boom. Can't get above it. And then it comes all the way back down. So, but before it even does that we have and again I should just use the price line um, when it got to here it came back down to this base went back up right came back down hit this base a bunch of times this, re this support area then finally broke through and came down and then as it came back up as soon as it hit what was one support it automatically became some resistance got a little resistance in here now it broke back above that resistance and now it's running into this one so this is becoming um, resistance so it may come back down to this support area before rebounding up or it might break through this resistance area and move on to the uh, I'm going to do with the other one and move on to this resistance area where it couldn't get through earlier which is right around our target so that you know all worked out so algorithms basically giving me my targets and my exit here if I'm wrong um, and then also telling me when to get in trade so that's all that took is taken care of by the algorithm 
but you can see where it kind of lines up with the support and resistance areas that are showing up on the chart as well. And they're not major support. I wouldn't call this a major resistance area or major support because it's only hit it a few times. In here, it starts to look a little bit more major. But yeah, so we'll see if this gets through. Hopefully, we'll get through without this oscillation just because we don't have a lot of time left on the day. And then for those of you who like to look at uh, channels and things like that, um, here we have another look. So there's a good probability that we'll hit this target based on this channel that it's forming. Um, but does it come down to the bottom of this channel first and then hit this target? And at that point, I'll run out of time because i got to be out at 350 for uh, Capital Markets Elite Group. So if that happens first, then I'll, I'll be out of time. But I'll probably still be able to close out in a small profit. I just won't be able to close out on my target if it stays within this uh, this channel. I'm hoping it breaks out of this channel and just starts racing towards the end of the day. Get me as much as possible. But uh, either way, that's uh, if, you're, if you're following channels, if you're someone who trades off of channels, you know this stock also has a channel going for it. So there's a couple things going for it besides my algorithm, the support resistance lines, as well as this channel. Um, all helping out. Okay, so we're back in. So we're at 23 right now on the ask. I need to get above 24 on the bid so I can put my stop in. So we're at 22 right now on the bid. Get above 24. I'm going to put my stop in here. Uh, this candle just kind of opened a minute ago, so we got some time on it. Um, the way, the, just looking at the size of these candles, I don't know if this one will hit um, or not, but we'll see. It's going to have to get pretty big to hit. All right, cool. So 24 on the ask, 20, 23, 24, come on. Once this gets to 25, I'll be looking to uh, put my stop in here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, wait till the very last second to cancel my order just in case it turns around and flushes for some reason. Then we'll be protected. So what we'll, we'll do is uh, we'll come over here and we'll move this up to where I bought it at, or just above, so 708, 08. We're going to go two pennies above. Cancel, sell. All right. Uh, no. Why? Seven oh eight. All right. So just in case it does flush, we'll get our break even. So now I'm going to put this back to twenty four. All right, so this is kind of good, actually. If this candle can close, hold this position right here and close and then break through on the next candle, it could be quite nice because that might give me an opportunity to let it run. This is such a big candle for what's been trading today that if it goes just above here, there's a high probability I'll get stopped out. Um, so it did touch 24. So if this, uh, if this starts to drop back, actually, and close down here, I may just, uh, I may just get out with... Uh, where I'm at. I'll put like a penny below or something like that because it did touch my level here. But hopefully it can close close and then boost through. Um, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. And again, for those of you who like to follow channels, I just put that top line back in. You can see where it hit that and got rejected. So uh, hopefully you can get through that. If not, maybe it'll just creep slow. But we did get through, so uh, we did touch my level, it just didn't happen on the bid, at least not that I could see because I was having all this flickering going on. So we'll see. Okay, so you know we did touch 24. Um, I should probably just bounce out right here and take my 70. Um, so, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, because of the channel, I'm going to go ahead and stay in. I should bounce out right here though, and uh, I got my profit. I made my stop in, so we're, I'm not going to take a loss on it. But it would be nice to pick up 60 bucks. So my account looks beat up right now um, because uh, I'll show you what, uh, yeah, I'll show you at the end of this trade. But basically, I tried to play around the sim a little bit with some stuff. And when you're sim trading, if you click over to your sim and then you change your ticker, it automatically goes back to the uh, your live account. So if you don't pay attention to that, you'll accidentally trade in your live account. Um, yeah, see, so once it hits my targets, a lot of times it will roll over and come back down. So we may get stopped out here for dollars instead of the 70 or 80 bucks I could have had if I had put my thing in set it or forget it. We'll see what happens there. But then on April 1st, uh, we had platform fees come out. So um, 
that also beat my account up a bit. So this account looks a little, little beat up from the 1800 that it was at. Now it's down at 1287, but uh, not too worried about it. I'll, I'll just grow it right back, hopefully. So this would have been a nice start of the day. Could have had 70 or 80 bucks here. Actually could have had 100, I think, um, when it hit the, just barely tapped that. It was about 100, I think. Either way, I could have had at least 70 bucks. So we'll see if this, uh, this channel Man, you see all that flickering? I probably should just get out because of that alone. So if it's going to come back to the bottom of this channel, then uh, then I'll end up getting out here at 7.08. And uh, yeah, a very, very small win. We'll, we'll see what happens here. All right, looks like it's going to make another run on it. So come on, let's do it. Get through there. So I got just double checking 7.24. I don't have any extra dots in there or anything like that. 7.61. Oh, uh, good. And then, uh, yeah, come on, let's do it. Let's go. Go, 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 go. You got room. You got room. All right, so you can see it's having a really hard time getting through this little level right here. So we'll see. If we can smash through here, this could be a pretty big runner. I mean, with all this support or resistance that's taking place here um, and looking at the level two action, there's a good possibility if we can if we can break through 24, we'll fly pretty fast. So um, yeah, I'm gonna hang out in here in a little bit and we'll be back and see what happens. Okay, so we're clicking back and forth in the 23 area, 22, 23. As soon as we get to the 25 on the bid, I'm gonna put my stop in, and whatever happens happens. I get lucky and it runs great, backs up and gets me out, great. Either way, all good. Uh, part of me says, you know what, just jump out right here because you already hit, technically hit the target once. You're getting a second chance. There's a lot of resistance here. Um, just bounce, but uh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to stay and wait. Wait for my 22 more pennies. Wouldn't that be a bummer to give back all this green because you were waiting for like one more penny? Like, I want that one more penny. I'm getting greedy. Give me my penny. And then you give it all back and you end up with nothing. That's the lesson. Or maybe we'll get rewarded here. Really because of this channel line. I feel pretty confident it's going to draw. And I might be able to get my full my full position out. So between this target. The very top of this. And this channel line. It's making me greedy. Come on. Two more pennies right here on the bid. So on the ask again. We're, we're, we're hitting our target. So technically I can get out of this trade. And it would be a good trade. All right, especially now that we're on the bid there. This is a done trade. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And uh, 24 is on deck. So if we can click 25, I'll be out. If this candle closes here, I'll also get out. I'll switch this over to market order. If we can close up here at this, this area, that'll give us a little bit of buffer just in case we have a little pullback before it goes up. That would be nice. So let's see if we can get up there and close up up close to 29. No, maybe not. That's too bad. All right, so we should be out. 20. Okay, cool. All right, good deal. So I pulled back. Um, no biggie. Maybe come back to the bottom of this channel. It's you know bouncing off this channel line. So here we are. 126 bucks for the day. It's awesome. I'll take it. All right, that's going to be it for me today, and I will see you tomorrow. And if you're interested in uh, getting my algorithm uh, or learning more about it, you can go over to uh, 2020daytrader.com and get some more information on my algorithm um, if you'd like to get it um, or just more information on it. You can jump over there. All right, see you. Okay, so I wanted to just come back in here real quick at the end of the day so you can see uh, how it uh, definitely hit that, that channel again. But hit my target from the algorithm once and then uh, hit it again and then hit it really clean right here um, we exited somewhere around here and then uh, came back for a pullback and started to, to just you know back and forth but what I wanted to show you was I was talking about with my account the other day so over here uh, CME is your actual account and then the TRCME is like training account so if you click on training account and I'm in this stock and then I switch over and then I come back to it. It's automatically back to your your live account, your 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 money account. So, with Capital Markets Elite Group, you have to be really careful if you're going to sim trade because 
it's so easy to be like, oh, I'm going to sim trade this. It's almost set up. Oh, you know what? Though? I wonder what I wonder what SPY is doing. Let me go over there real quick. Nah, it's not quite ready yet. I'll just hit Roku. Boom, buy. And then I'm in my real account. So I made a mistake like that this week when I was just playing with the concept. And uh, yeah, didn't work out so well. So yeah, just be careful of that. So like I said, between that and platform fees um, down to uh, from, you know, went from 900 and changed to 1800 back down to whatever it was. And then platform fees came out um, today as well. So um, that put my account back all the way down to 1287. So no big deal though. We just, you know, got 126 bucks today. Um, if I was trading, uh, not messing around with experimenting the last couple of days, I would have had another 400 on top of this. So, you know, I could be in good shape. So no, no biggie. I'll just uh, won't mess around for a little bit, build this account right back up, and then I can uh, start playing with the sim again. All right. Uh, so yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hope everybody else had an awesome day.